Well, hello, my dear listener. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance once more. I'm having a few dark days right about now, but I couldn't let this occasion go past without some acknowledgement. And you know what this day is, right? Yes, it is the fir- Wait a minute, it's- It's the 30th of October, just before Halloween. I've always been fascinated by you humans and your interest in the occult and that sort of debacle. All your spooky treats, your horror movies, and all that. You do love a good scare. You thrive upon it. Well, I admire that, and I respect it, so here's what I'm going to do. You want a tale of woe and darkness from the depths of hell? Well, I can arrange that for you. I will take you to hell and back, dear listener. It's time for the Halloween Remnant to be unleashed. Enjoy. I have traveled to many worlds, and to many universes through the entirety of time and space. But there was one point, one sector of the universe upon which no one must dare venture into. This wild sector, this untamed galaxy, is prone to wild, unpredictable, and dangerous events, locked away behind a wall of time. But there are many tales that can be told from this mysterious underworld, and I like to call these stories the remnants. Record entry, 31st of October, 1988. This has been a tremendous day for the experiment. This is quite possibly the perfect result. Funny, I came to this city believing it was nothing but a waste of my time at best. Earth has led to nothing but inconveniences for me, especially when that clown gets involved. But now I don't think I'll have to worry about them. I call it the control virus. Imaginative, I know. But I have no time for pretentiousness. This is the one I've dreamed about achieving and perfecting. It is done. Once this becomes airborne, everyone on this planet will follow my every command. I will no longer be a scientist. I will be a ruler, the ruler this world needs and deserves. Though I am getting ahead of myself, I need to test it first. Excellent. The test subject has arrived. End record. Hello there. I saw your sign at the door. Free food. I'm very much starving. Oh, you poor dear. Of course. Do come in. There is plenty of food to go around. Oh, thank you. It's awful out there. I can imagine. What's your name? Uh, Rupert. Rupert Head. Pleasure. My name is Rani. How long have you been homeless for? Uh, homeless? Oh, I'm, I'm not homeless. I'm just starving. I haven't eaten since seven. Oh, I see. Well, no matter. You're still welcome to some food, all the same. Good. Where is it? Just take a seat over there, and I'll bring it to you, okay? I enjoy seeing where things are, and I want to see the menu. I have a few allergies, you see. It's vegan-friendly, gluten-free, with not a nut in sight. That much, I can assure you. Now, just take a seat and... Menu? Patience, my dear friend. Just take a seat. Okay, well... There isn't anything I like that I'm going to make it hurt. What do I look like? A charity? Oh, I will enjoy infecting you. 
Uh, do please consider bringing along a salt sachet too. Have you sat down yet? Yes, yes, I'm on the chair. Now, if you don't mind, some food. <coughs> what? What are these restraints? What the devil are you doing? You talk too much. There was never any free food, you simpering fool. Congratulations, though. As you have wandered into my domain, you will become a spectacular asset to science. No, wait, please. I was only having a joke. You know jokes, don't you? I have no time for jokes. What about bargains? Do you have time for a bargain? I'm here to test my virus on you. Human testing is unavoidable. Do shut up! But information. People always need information. I'll do anything. Just let me go. A mere human couldn't tell me anything. You should be thankful I'm not going to kill you. But instead, introduce you to true obedience. But what if I can introduce you to something too? Like a new form of life. What? You heard me. It may be useful to you. It is if you want to broaden your horizons outside of normal humanity. Go on. There are these creatures that are explorers in the furthest reaches of experience. Demons to some, angels to others. They dwell within the underworld, or shall I say, hell itself. They usher to bring a new definition to the words pleasure and pain. They felt it all and wish to share it. Nonsense! Concepts like a hell priest or whatever are the stuff of a legend. A stupid little fairy tale. Pure fiction. They are not fairy tales, my dear. And how would you know? You think you know better than me. No, but I have this. Release my restraints and I will show you. I can't go anywhere, can I? You locked the door. I suppose not. What is this cube? It's a puzzle box. Solve it and see what happens. Those creatures will be summoned to you and they will try to take you. This is a waste of time. I am in no mood for games. Get back into your seat before I force you. Look at the design though. How intricate it is. How even the lightest touch could trigger the slightest mechanism. Don't you want to solve it? I am not privy to these games. I will not be distracted from my... What? Where did he go? How could he have escaped? But he has left his cube. Record entry supplemental. I have sat here for hours working on this strange cube. This has been an extreme test of my skill and intellect. However, I feel I am on the cusp of completion. Naturally, I have taken the time to set up a few precautions. If I am to acquire new test subjects with this method, then I better make sure I can keep them. I have set up force fields all around the TARDIS. If they try to attack me, they will fail and fall, provided they exist. Let's find out, for when I click the final piece of the puzzle, may it begin. was right all along! They're coming! You opened the box. You summoned us. Show yourself. Remarkable. 
You must have some skill in order to penetrate a TARDIS. Emerge from your hiding. From the deepest desires of your heart, we know that you want to let us, the Cenobites, know your flesh. Not before I know yours. You are the one who summons us. How quaint. There's something different about you. You solved the box. Now you must come with us. Taste our pleasures. Now why would I do that? This is a most ludicrous yet incredible discovery. You are clearly all in states of injury, yet you act fine. You have dozens of pins burrowed into your head, but you act with such grace and confidence. Your accomplice has her throat exposed forcefully, yet shows no sign of pain. And your servants are barely even human anymore. This analysis is tedious. You are coming with us. Take her. Take her. You cannot postpone what is inevitable, child. Submit to us immediately, or I will personally ensure that your suffering will have no equal. Child! How insulting! You really have no idea who you're dealing with! This was a trap. She is protected. She is far more cunning than Kirsty ever was. But nowhere near as interesting. You usually deal with humans. No wonder you grotesque fools are completely under my thumb! Human or not, we do not care what you are. You will come with us. You cannot evade the pain for too long. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> What is this poison? It is a virus of my design. Now, you will submit to me. I hope you will enjoy your new task as my enforcers. Excellent. Now to begin the next stage of my plan. <laughs> I know that laugh. Oh, I'm sure you do. You! That stranger! No! Oh, my dear Rani, I try and try to aid in your wonderful machinations, and yet once again you execute it in exactly the worst possible way. Master, how many times must I see your snivelling form darken my door? Did you seriously put on that song and dance earlier to orchestrate this? You wound me, Ushas. Don't ever call me that! Unless you want to become my next test subject. Oh, such idle threats. We both know you could never hold a candle to my deviancy. Get lost, and let me get on with my work! Go play with the Doctor or something equally infantile! Tormenting the Doctor is still on the top of my list, but sometimes the universe gets a bit insular if you focus on only one fool. And that's why you've come to torment me. Precisely. Now you're getting it. Perhaps you can be of some use to me after all. The Cenobites, the female, bring her to me. Put her on the table. Incredibly bold. First you tell me to go, now you'll tell me to stay. My dear, you are quite insatiable. Just do it, you simpering sycophant, before I really lose my temper. As you wish, your majesty. <laughs> <coughs> Happy now? I am, rather. You see, this is a new form of life, and every such specimen deserves to be examined through autopsy. And you think you can understand them by cutting them open like a mere mortal corpse? <laughs> that is most amusing, but why this one especially? She seems the least disfigured of the bunch. She'll make a good spectacle. I feel the need to point out to you that she isn't quite deceased. But she is under the influence of the toxin. That 
in itself is good enough. She won't <laughs> put up a fight. Oh, my dear Rani. It seems that everyone I meet these days are just too naive for their own good. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. Simply nothing at all. Very well. The throat's already open. So how about I start with the brain? <laughs> ah, no! Such a fool to leave your guard down. <laughs> Pitiful even. Thought your dreadful stench could hurt us? The only knives that will meet your flesh are those that will be cutting you open in the depths of hell. And mine. Oh, how dare you! I will destroy you all! Do not worry. Your soul will join us in hell shortly. It's all your fault, you know! It's all your fault! Such a shame. What a waste of a brilliant mind, deluded by hubris. Sometimes my plans work too well. I trust you are unharmed. I would sooner perish, perish than allow that creature, creature to place her blade, blade upon me. My dear Cenobites, may I be of assistance? Our time here in this realm is over. We must depart. Uh, but I would like to offer my services. I don't think you quite know who I am, but I sense it would be in your best interests to do so. What could you possibly offer us, mortal? Power, of course. Over the humans! You see, she wanted you here to trap you and kill you, but I... I want you here to live. Share your power with me and let me become one of your own. And soon you will see what true power is really if like. If you were truly interested in us, you would have summoned us yourself. We are leaving. We have our soul this time. But what if I could promise you a whole world of souls, billions of them, all to you? Does that not entice you a little bit? We do not want the souls of innocence, only those who desire our gifts. It is a shame. Well, I hope you have fun with her soul. But before you go... What is this magic? My dear Pinhead, this is the Time Lord magic known as regeneration. It's a form of immortality. Now you see what I mean about power, no? So she survived. You didn't claim her soul after all. Well, that was just plain old inconvenient. One day you're here, the other day you're not. One day you're a redhead, the next you're back to black. I could probably make a good beehive out of these locks. Hmm. Well, this changes things. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were here, darling. Got distracted. I'm like five lives old now. God, eight more until the sweet release, am I right? Huh. Well, kind of sad, though, as I quite liked the last one. She was super smart, uh, but she was a bit cold. Needed a sense of humor, you know what I'm saying? Now, the thing is... I don't feel very cold now, no way, but I do feel angry, very, very angry at you, bucko. Me? What did I do exactly? The female killed you, not I! Whose idea was it for me to summon them in the first place, buddy boy? Old buddy old chum? Who gave me the box? I'll give you one guess. I'll even answer it for you. You. I only did that to assist in your experimentation any other reason. It would be a waste of time and energy. So you confess that you gave the box to this woman? Yes. <laughs> What's the harm in that? Seeing as she has survived her execution through this process of... Regeneration, as you call it. That means we have been denied a soul while she has fulfilled her end of the bargain. Which means? Which means, Which means we still need to take a soul back. And since it wasn't the hands that called us, it was desire. Your desire that you imprinted upon this woman. You are the root, and the root 
must be unearthed. No. No, I only wish to join you as a peer, not a subject! Oh, dearie me! Look at you. You've ticked off the fairy tale. But if that's the way you wish to play it, then... Ah! No! 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 No, you are making a grave mistake! No, you made the mistake of attempting to manipulate us. And for that reason alone, we will tear your soul apart. <laughs> How pathetic, you silly little underwell scum. You will never be able to destroy me. Just you watch. You will all suffer from the wrath of the Master. Well, that's that then. Pray that we never meet again. You betcha, Pinhead. Man, well, that was fun. Now what? Oh yeah, I need a new outfit. And there was something else I was supposed to do, I think. I think. Oh, right. The control virus. Wait, why do I need that again? Why would I want to control humans? They're goddamn useless. Screw that. I can take some other species. One that actually has their bearings together. How are the Ice Warriors doing these days? That's what I want to know. We should have finished her a second time. You know we cannot do that. We have to stick to the rules. Forget, Forget the, rules. the rules. She tried she to, tried kill, to us. kill us. Her attempt would have been as useless as a fly attacking a lion. Take it as a compliment. After all, we have claimed a much greater soul. A soul of a Time Lord. We can learn much more from him. Let us embrace this. Fools, they've fallen right into my trap. Now I'm here, it's only a matter of time before my victory is inevitable. Soon I will be the master of the fires of hell. <laughs> Ha 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 